So, Skull and Bones is around halfway through season one, and I believe Ubisoft are already showing signs of desperation. Something in this game that's recently come in, as far as I'm aware, is going to catch some players off guard. So, I'm putting out this video saying that you need to be careful because there's something in the store which we'll go through that you should absolutely not be spending any money on. So, if we jump into the store itself and we go along to the seasonal stuff, they have the Roadman Godin in this game, which is the ghost ship, but it's a red variant. And if you look at this stuff, they are essentially just giving you a variation of looking like the ghost ship. You've got some like cool looking cosmetics. But if you look at how much gold this is going to cost you, it's going to cost, I think it's about £16 or something like that. Because if we go to the currency and we have a look, you can get like it's 20 quid there. Or you can get two lots of 1100 So £16 is around $20 for this stuff. And then there's also clothing there as well, which again looks quite cool. But this is going to cost you about $10. And I get it. It's all within the theme of Season 1. But again, you've got to remember that this game was like £70. The premium edition is like 95 This stuff should not be in these full price AAA games. I would expect to see something like this from a free-to-play game. And then also, when it comes to the Smuggler's Pass, if we go to that, there were these bundles. So you can get just the standard pass, or you can get a bundle that comes with 15 Smuggler's Points. And when Season 1 first launched, you were not able to buy extra Smuggler's Points. You had to play the game and earn the infamy to level up and get these points. But now, if we back out of this, you'll see that you can purchase Smuggler's Marks. You can unlock tiers in the season pass and that's the whole point of this video be careful do not buy these smugglers marks do not be an idiot and feed into the desperation of ubisoft or any other company for that matter because when this game first launched even with a free trial they couldn't clear a million players for the game and it's sad because all the way up until you get to the tds end game this game is a load of fun. I thoroughly enjoyed playing this game through. But these cosmetics have simply been put into this game because Ubisoft know this game is failing. So they're essentially just trying to recoup their losses. They're trying to milk the remaining players. The ones that have stuck around since the launch of the game, they're trying to get that little bit of extra money out of them. And at the moment, it's highly unlikely that this game's going to be further developed for years. It's probably going to have a few more seasons and then they will stop any further development. They're probably just going to stick to seasonal content, put less and less effort in with each season until there's no more fanboys that are browsing the store every day when everyone that's going to put money into this game has moved on they will probably announce the development is stopping they'll more than likely move on to other games and stuff the servers will stay open but then a few years later they're probably just going to close the servers down altogether because this game has never had a good reception and i would say this game got an equal ish amount of hate as to what Suicide Squad did, and that can't even bring in like four or five hundred concurrent players. This probably has a little bit more, but I think across all platforms, you're going to be stretching to see 5,000 concurrent players at peak time on a weekday. I don't think this game has much popularity at all. And there's a plethora of different things people have said to bash this game and shit like that. Like, I, I backed this game, I defended it because I believe the gameplay is fun. My opinion, this game is really good until you get to the end game. The end game is just manual manufactory this manufactory that upgrade this upgrade that you're just doing the same stuff over and over again and sailing around to all your different manufactories gets really boring and it makes you like you get tired of doing it like all the time so they've released updates they changed it all and now you don't have to do it as often so you have less of a reason to play this game and with more people moving on from this game they're going to have more of a, an opportunity to say like right we're just not going to develop this game anymore we're going to move on because it's just not got that much money coming in it's costing us to keep the servers running so on and so forth and the season pass itself is a really big grind for the new gear so if we go into the smugglers pass and we have a look in order to get the ship that they released with it you need to get if we can actually go to it you need to complete 45 tiers so you have to have completed half the pass to do this and then if we go to Shipmaster, you have at rank 20, you've got the Wailing Ward Armor, which is for the new faction they brought into the game, the Fleet of Pestilence. That's going to stop you taking as much damage from their toxic attacks. And then when it uh, gets to the Quartermaster, and you have a look, you've got the La Potent Schematics, which is going to reveal the weak points on the Fleet of Pestilence ships. And then if you go to Gunner Master and you go all the way to the very end when you get to tier 30, you're going to get the Carronade. And that's pretty much every new bit of 
like significant stuff you're going to unlock from this pass. The rest of it is pretty much just cosmetics. So in order to unlock everything, you need to be level 20 on two paths. You need to be level 30 on one of them. And that means altogether you need 70 smuggler tokens. So you need to get smuggler points 70 times. And that's to unlock all of the gameplay changing items, which is going to be 175,000 infamy to get that many levels, because I believe it's done on a scale of whatever infamy you earn in the game, 40% of it goes to your smuggler points. I don't know if they've changed it or anything like that, but then obviously over time you get 175,000 infamy that's going to give you the 70,000 that you actually need to be able to get 70 levels and unlock everything in the pass. Like everything gameplay changing anyway. But Ubisoft are well aware of that. They know that it's a little bit of a grind to get this stuff done. So they know that when you start getting closer to the end of the season, people are going to start panicking. Because they're going to think, right, as of now, I've got 41 days to get this pass done. I'm not going to have enough time because I've got a full-time job, I've got a family and things like that. So what I might do is go to the store and I might purchase some of the smugglers marks because it's essentially tier skipping. You can get 10 for a thousand gold, which is going to cost you like eight pounds. And some people might be willing to do that. But what I'm going to do is pop up on screen right now in their own dev blog. They cleared up that if you are playing the seasons in Skull and Bones, they said one last note. If you are worried about missing out on that weapon you were eyeing up, well, fear not. Gameplay items from the previous season will become available through the black market in the next season to be traded in for pieces of eight. So instead of putting your real money into the game to get smugglers marks and essentially skip your way through tiers, say for an example, you get to the very end of the season and you've got 10 levels left until you get the carronades and you really want them. Instead of spending that eight pound and getting those smugglers marks, you can just wait until the season's ended, wait until season two starts, because that's probably when they're going to release the stuff in the uh, black market. And then using your pieces of eight that you've grinded through the end game of Skull and Bones, you can then go to the black market, you can purchase the carronades. So there's absolutely nothing to worry about, but it says it on the dev blog, and I think that's probably the only place where it tells you that that is the case. You don't need to worry about this stuff because it's going to end up in the store, at least for the weapons, the armor, schematics and things. It will end up in the in-game black market where you can use your pieces of eight. So you don't absolutely have to buy your way through the past to get to that point because that stuff becomes available at the end of the season anyway. So you have nothing to worry about, but they're not always going to tell you that because they want some people to load up this game for the first time, see something they like the look of and skip their way through it by spending real money. That's probably why the smugglers marks weren't available at the start of the season they've only just recently added them in because they know it's getting to that time where players are going to start panicking worrying that they're not going to get everything that they want from the past so they're going to buy these tokens these tier skips or whatever and they're going to provide more money to ubisoft so please do not be a fucking idiot do not buy your way through the pass or buy these new cosmetics and stuff. Because especially when it comes to a full price AAA title, you shouldn't be buying cosmetics and stuff. Especially some that tie in with a boss event. They've used it because, yes, the Roadman Godin looks cool in this game. It makes your whole game turn red. But if you think about it, the first colour you see as a human is red. And when you look at a lot of companies and casinos, they always use red because it's the most encouraging to the human eye. Is going to get the most eyes on it. Red is that color. So the Roadman Godin is red. They've put a bunch of red stuff in the store to try and encourage you to purchase it in a game you've already spent a shitload of money on. These cosmetics, like the ship stuff, like the outfit and everything, they should be earnable in the game. When it comes to, like, if you have a look at the Spring Blossom, you've got all this fancy, wacky sort of stuff. Maybe have that in your store. Not that you should have a store in a AAA title anyway, with season passes and stuff. But when it comes to this sort of shit, the Tides of Terror, do not put that in the store. If, if it ties in to the theme of a boss event in your game, it should never be in a store. It should be earnable. But obviously they know that the players on the game right now are the ones that are going to be the most willing to spend money because they've stuck around with the game through this much of Season 1. Because a lot of people would have got involved in Season 1, took down La Peste a couple of times, had a look at the changes to the manufactories, and then thought, okay, I'll just check back in every now and then. Those that are still playing it every day are going to be more and more, like, they're going to have the biggest sort of encouragement to buy this stuff. So Ubisoft know they can get away with it. 
not many people are going to kick off about it and they've put out that dev blog to say like yes you can get stuff if you just wait until the next season you don't need to worry about it disappearing forever but they're not going to tell people that over and over again because they want you to spend money they would be losing out on that part of them recouping their losses if they told you that over and over again so i put this video out as a warning to you guys to tell you to be careful do not buy these cosmetics i mean unless you absolutely want them obviously it's up to you at the end of the day but my opinion don't buy them because they should be tied into the boss event in the game there should be a few different sets of cosmetics they should never be especially for 2200 gold in this game they should not be selling you this stuff and when it comes to the smuggler pass and those tier skips don't do it because all of the gameplay items themselves are going to be available once the season ends. You're going to actually have to spend pieces of eight instead of grinding and putting a load of time into getting them. And on that note, we are going to leave the video there. Let me know your thoughts and stuff about this in the comments and I will see you guys in the next one. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.